Hey, what is up, team? Welcome back to the fantastic uh, ELO 300 speed run, comically called speed run at this point, but uh, we are currently played 16 games with 10 victories for 63% victory rate. Last time we played three games and we wound up nine ELO down, so uh, that was a bit of a stumble, but we're not really worried about it. We're going to do better this time. Feeling good. Oscar's going to help us out. What do we got? We're going to just keep everything on, I think. And we're going to continue as we go. Um, not really going about this in any sort of strategic way. I think if we really wanted to... Uh, no, thank you. If we really wanted to be smart about this, we would wait for uh, high-ranked people and only play them. That way we lose little elo if we lose and gain a bunch if we win. We're going to say we don't want to, we want to avoid this player, in my personal opinion, just so we don't match with them again because of that low um, rating. Not rating, but uh, rep. Low rep. We don't like those. Yet another one. Taylor Swift. Well, love to play some Wingspan with Taylor Swift. I think that would be fun. But not if she has... Not so hot. Uh, hey, look, there's, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Not if she has bad rep. So we're going to downvote her and just say I want to avoid her. All right. Well, off to a strong start. Let's try it again. You got a bad internet connection. I don't want to deal with you. Let's see what else we can have come our way. There we go. Well,. We are not going to get a lot of ELO if we win this one, but we're just playing for fun. We're just having a good time here. Turn that down a little bit. That's nice. That's nice. We got nothing for our force. Well, we could grab the Blackbird. We're not. We got nothing for food generation, so I don't want to try to go down the full tuck route and uh, wind up failing. Maybe we could always put the finch into the forest. Generally you want those in the grassland for maximizing points, but I think in this case we are going to try a forest house finch because uh, we just need to get some food and we got no food options at this point. So we'll get rid of these two. Get down that, what's our eggs in the grassland? I don't know. It's scary when you got nothing for the forest. The only bird for the forest we have available to us is the blue grosbeak, and I don't think we want to use that guy. We still got very little sound here. Hopefully it's coming through on your end. So do we stick the finch in the forest? We're, I don't know. We'll see. Do we go wetland scientist or do we go cartographer? We would need two more here. Mm, the food is really bad. Maybe we undo this. We still grab these two. But we get rid of these two guys. Keep a grub and just grab a fish first thing. I also wonder if we get one more for cycling. We also have these two nice wetland birds. If we did this and skip the house finch, we get a good engine going. We do wetland scientist. I think this is actually better. So I think we do that. Believe it or not. Then maybe grab a fish first thing. I think this is what we do. Uh, that uh, house finch would be great, but not this time. We need to get food. I mean, our food was just, there was just nothing available for our food. So we, we, our food is precious at this point. 
and house finch don't know about it house finch in the forest point grabs American goldfinch we're gonna grab a fish we could play our grub and our uh, fish to get these two guys down but I think we want to hold on to that grub especially since the bird feeder is pretty weak we're just gonna lay a couple things down here see what comes our way bit of a I mean we're getting a good wetland which is probably the most important thing but the lack of good options in the tray mildly scary oh well down goes a bonus card I'm not too scared <laughs> not too scared at this point put down this guy first I suppose I don't think it matters we'll get an egg in it play the will it that'll help with the second end of round goal not that we're not going to spend two eggs by then Three, see three cards, keep two of them. That's going to help. We're going to have a grub and a grain in our hand. I feel pretty good about that. So far we know my opponent has a bonus card down and a grabbed an American goldfinch without any grain to speak of. So feeling like we have the better round one plan here. Opponent grabbed the single grub available. Of course, we could grab that blackbird. But it would help with our wetland scientists, but I don't think so. That food will be better spent elsewhere. The last thing we need is another wetland bird at this point in the game. Opponent just doing a bunch of single food draw. We don't mind that too much. We are now going to be getting two cards at a time once again. Seeing a third and discarding one. So a grub and a grain. Pretty respectable setup. We got a cavity nest. We got a ground nest. We got a bowl nest. So definitely want to keep our eye out for star nests. They're going to be quite valuable this game with those end of round goals. I'm not quite sure if she should go for one more reroll. Yep, she grabbed a rat now. Does she not know about the reroll of uh, mechanics? Let's see what we have. Come on, something for the four. Oh, there we go. That is great. We will definitely take a robin. Four, four dice. Still failed. And to top it all off, a merganser. It's a five-pointer. It only lives in the wetlands, but we can do better. So we'll get down on Robin, I think. Maybe, maybe one more time grabbing cards. Because we got nowhere to go after the Robin. Of course, the Robin could go into the grasslands to help with this end of round goal. Well, how many turns? We got three left. We're going to do one more. And maybe we do stick the robin in the grassland. Well, that's all that, doesn't it, my friends? Uh, let's see here. Only one this time. Okay. So now the question becomes... How are we going to get our food for that raven. Do we just do two single food draws? I think that's going to be the plan since the rat is not there. Then we'll get our robin down. Card draw is king. So it's not going to be the most devastating raven game since it's going to be slow to get but we're going to get it 
We will get it. We have to do our own. This is our third single food draw. Oh, very slow. Very slow, Raven. But ultimately worth it. I think we can just get these two guys down and cycle through our uh, fly catcher for now. We'll clear out that guy. Start of the round will be our raven. Hopefully some good stuff pops up we can grab. Well, we definitely wouldn't mind this guy. Yeah, let's undo. We'll grab him with the turn. Let's not get too excited. You never know what else is going to pop up. Well, that is a wetland only bird, but I suspect... Oh, there we go. That'll be good for our... Mm, we can get rid of... We'll get rid of that guy. Tree Swallow will be our cycler. All right, Raven, let's get you down. And then it's going to be Robin, Harrier, and away we go. Paul's just chilling with her two white powers. And to fill up our cavity nest, that won't be a problem. We got our one opponent with her one. So nice not to have to think about nectar. Get our two cards down. Oh, maybe we should have gotten the quail, but whatever. We're getting a guaranteed point as opposed to the uh, as opposed to the potential point with the harrier. So that would have been the better play. But there's always next round. Start cycling out that tree swallow. Get our gallon newel down for the bonus card. Eventually. We are looking pretty. What a grassland. What a nice grassland we have. One's going to be giving us some grain on top of that. Ooh. Three food on a turn potentially is so strong. Give me that. Give me those three food per turn. Please. We'll have our grassland set up by the end of round two. That's what you like to see. Opponent with a single cavity nest still. One more turn to get something else down. Might still do it. I'm not worried. Oh, we're getting... Oh, too bad we don't have an egg. We could have gotten that quail down right now. So we'll just do this. We could discard it, but I think we want to keep it. We definitely want to keep it. Good job, Mr. Hawk. Well, Warbler might be nice. We might want to get that Gallon Newel down. So that we don't... Well, let's draw... Well... Yeah. I think we do want to get that Gallon Newel down. So we'll do that. We'll play the Gallon Newel. Grab a charge for cycling. Hopefully we get another grain by then and we can get our quail down. We've got to hold on to uh, not spend an egg on a card if we're going to go that route. Well, it had food though, so I'm going to have it. Oh, plus we need two eggs. Maybe we just get down this quail. Don't, st don't stop the engine. We can cycle out that warbler. It's nice. Here we go. Gallon Newell's next. Maybe we'll get a grain. I don't think so, because I think we're not... we got two turns. My opponent has two turns ahead of her, so... Uh, could very easily get a grain at that time. Not spending food currently. Ugh, oh, I forgot about the end of round goal. Okay. All right, time to focus up. Getting a little too cocky. A little too cocky here. That's a nice card. I think we will grab him. Uh, 
All right, we will get the food for the gallon newel and then we'll get a grub. Oh, you know, we got a grub, but we're gonna need one. Gallon newel first, card draw, food, Swanson talk. Okay, feel bad about that last end of round. We gotta fix things here. Let's see here, we wanna keep all that open. Get a ton of cards, three, four, C5, keep four. We are good with that. Plenty of platform nests, so. Oh, that's nice. Three eggs, so we can ch chuck an egg. Nothing here we particularly care about. Nothing we feel like we gotta deny. That we don't care about. That might be a thing, but I doubt it. Cowbird, don't want that. Give us this guy for our cycle, and then we should be set for the game. <laughs> Hello, Raven number two. We are not going to be playing you. Don't fall into that trap, friends. Well, a bunch of crud cards. We are just going to get rid of this Raven outright, I think. Nothing that can only live in the wetlands. All right, Swanton Talk and Spam. Gal Newell has some decent egg space. Got to start filling up our platform nests. Well, a little late for that one, but good for this end of round. No, pre no scavengers anywhere to be seen. We can cycle out this guy. No, nope. don't like him. We need a rat. Eh, we'll take another grub. Worst comes to worst, we'll get that hermit thrush down. It is a star nest. Our bull nest situation, we'll have three. Opponent with three as well. So I guess we gotta keep our eye open for a bull nest. Stellar's J as a potential, especially if my opponent keeps on giving us uh, grain. We have luckily brought this game back despite messing up the end of round, but let's undo this. We'll do this guy, we'll do one from here, and that guy, keep it on the star nest. Yeah. Board Game Arena does not agree with that move. But luckily we can override. I think we do grab that, Jay. We're going to be getting grain after all. Great for the final end of round. I think we got this one clenched despite our end of round goal flub. How are we doing on our eggs in platforms? We have... Plenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put one with four spaces here. Five, six. I think we're okay to not discard at this point. Well, we can turn this guy on. Mm, cycle out this guy and we'll grab him. And what do we want? We'll get our two cherries first for our Hermit's Thrush. There we go. Bringing it back. A little bit better now. All right, let's get down our Hermit Thrush. Actually, yeah, let's get him down. And then lay some eggs. I guess we grab some grain. 
if nothing better materializes, which I don't think it will. Another bowl nest. Four, it's gonna be four on four. One, two, three, yeah. Um, yeah, let's discard. We got the time. I think. I think we do. Maybe we can't discard next time. Okay. No, we can still discard next time. That'll give us three. Oh, look at this sneaky guy. Getting down one more bowl nest. I'm not scared with a zero point play though. Is it even worth it to get the J down now? It would only it would be a four point play. How's our egg space? We got tons of egg space. Five at a time. Maybe a little little short. I oh, know we're getting we're getting five here. Still don't think the J would be worth it. Mm, yeah. Like, yeah, we don't have to discard. But if we get something better come our way, then uh Let's see, something good, please. Mm, that's a seven point play. Uh, if we run this, it is going to be a four, five, possibly eight. I think that's a seven point play. That's a six point play with the egg cost. It doesn't really matter at this point. Um, two turns left. Nine slots available. If we don't hit anything, it's a four, five, six. Yep. Even if we don't hit our predator, it's barely better for the final round. But if we hit one predator, it's the same. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. We're going to keep our two food for the tiebreaker. And that's going to be that. Unless we get something really, unless we get a nice bonus card here for the forest, we are just running the engine. Not even the bald eagle could do it. Opponent not going for eggs, however. Two turns left still. We could get this guy down. Two turns left. Plenty of time to fill up their bull nests. So we're not going to worry about it. Well, they both failed, so that was what it was. We'll skip. All right, one more turn. We got three food now. Pwn has five, however. Let's see if they play a card. If so, we might have, maybe should, oh, we're gonna do a double play. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a bonus card bird. Nope. Bo Swift. Changed her mind. Bells Vireo. Hmm. 
Mm, still the swift. All right. Well, we maybe could have gotten that end of round goal. But what are you going to do? We've gotten down. Are my predators are being very silly. But our score is quite good. It's not going to be anything mind-boggling, but certainly better than my opponent here. I think it is safe to say sometimes completely skipping the second end of round goal is even worth it for the long term. You know, if you have to skip a turn, lay a couple eggs at the end of round two to, for an end of round goal, how many points are you going to get? You're losing one turn at the end of the game. How many points are you going to be getting on that one turn? So, yeah. So opponent wins all of the end of round goals. GG to my opponent. Strong bonus cards. Good job there. Seventy-two. Keep on playing wingspan. You will improve. Watch some winging it videos on YouTube. Kaboom! All right, GG. We got time for one more, so let's do it. That was easy town. Nine plus thirteen. They're very generous when you're this low. Um in the elo so continue we will raven game easy town uh instant win button all right yet another yet another low ranked individual let's hope they play as fast as that last person we got ourselves a phoebe what are we gonna do here Enclosure Builder, Cartographer, well we already have the Phoebe for Cartographer. The tree is nicely set up for our Woodpecker. So I think that's going to be our Wetland option. <laughs> it would be kind of funny to pair it with the Canada Goose, but uh, that would take a lot of grain to get that set up. Canada Goose is end game sorts of play, not early game. I think we just do this. Kind of tempted by this painted white throat. Can't lie to you there. So, and that's pushing me towards enclosure builder a little bit. The cartographer is so easy. I think. Yeah. Yep, so let's see here. What are we going to get rid of? We'll just do that. We're going to go Phoebe into painted bunt into painted white start into woodpecker, I believe. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. We could be able to get that goose down if we were really crazy, but we're not that crazy. Put down our Phoebe into the grasslands, lay a couple eggs, put down our white star, grab, get two food out of the deal, play the woodpecker. What more could you ask for? My opponent might not be quite as speedy this time. <clears throat> Spends all of his or her food on a cardinal. Oops, we can't do that yet. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We are going to be passing out a grub though, so. That is a thing. It is also a bull nest with more egg space than we got.
Now we just have to hope for a, maybe a second food producer out of the grasslands. We would like that. Point with two grubs and a cherry. Well, I guess the cherry is just an automatic grab thanks to that cardinal, so we shouldn't read into that too much. I think we grab a grub, get a second grub, and play that woodpecker. We like denying grubs from our opponents. The blue jay, however, might also be good. So maybe we grab a grain. Oh, oh that's a good play. All right, my opponent might not be a dummy. Guess this doesn't matter because it's both going to get spent on our woodpecker. And we want to leave the grain there for our woodpecker, so uh, we got to remember that. Yeah, I think that that blue jay would be great. Let's hope. Let us hope it comes our way. Very strong. Four food out of the grassland. I mean, out of the forest, of course. My opponent, we'll see if when we play this guy, if my opponent denies the grain, then we know we're in trouble. I guess we can also check this guy's games. We're going to check this guy's games, see how he's doing. Excuse me while I disappear for a second. Wingspan, last score was 82, 85, 83, 73. 94 so yeah this guy's for this guy's legit this guy is better than his rank implies let's see if he grabs up that grain he's contemplating it he says how can i make this work nope so that's a nice relief. So I think it's going to be three turns left. Grab up the J. Don't think we even discard because we want to work. We want to pressure this end of round goal. So we're only going to get one card. And then we will uh, again pass out. Or no. We're going to hold on to that. Take this guy. Uh, get a grub from the Phoebe and play our J potentially. Opponent going for a uh, grassland full tuck. I mean, our, I've lost my ability to name the. Ever since uh, Oceana, I've lost my ability to properly name the habitats. currently with one egg okay so if we play the J now my opponent could tie the end of round but I think it's worth it just a cut laying a couple eggs with nothing else kind of forcing that I'm okay with it we want to get this habitat going. It's so important. Early game is so important. Not even going to go for it. All right, well, feeling even better about this game now. Interesting card draw. We uh, secure that victory quite nicely. Wouldn't mind a Willet. None of those are cartographer birds. We're going to get food first before we want that reroll. So get some good food out of the deal. Where we go with the, I feel like we would go with the Willet over the Sandpiper. Ah, oh, well, opponent goes for the reroll. Does not have much to show for it. Let's see. We could go fish, cherry. Get ourselves the grain and a. Then we could get the willet with the fish. 
I think first that we're going to get cards. Because that tray is not going anywhere. Look at how much food my opponent has. Take, take oh, and then... Hmm. Get the grain with the woodpecker. Yeah, then we can get food. Fish, rat, reroll. Sounds good. The acorn woodpecker. It's almost tempting, given how much grain we're going to be picking up, but not really worth it. Red shoulder hawk. I mean, we're going to be getting a rat, but we really want another grassland bird at this point. Oh, what did we do that for? Wrong card. We will get the Willet. Take this guy, I think. Food is always more important early game. So we'll do this. We are going to get the food for both the Hawk and the Willet, but feels like too much of a distraction to me. No need for uh, platform nests anywhere here. Total birds, however, is the final end of round goal, and it is a cheap bird. Uh-oh. Ruh row. Well, here we go. You gain some <laughs> you gain some ravens, you lose some ravens. We got four food draw here. We're gonna feel pretty good about that. How much did my opponent invest in the forest prior? Not much. And it's still a little scary. Glad we didn't go sandpiper route because we do not want to be feeding my opponent cards. Opponent's going to be a little starved for eggs for now, but with four cards down, he's got more up his sleeve. The Phoebe all of a sudden we don't want to be activating. We might need to be looking for bombs and playing bombs with this strong food generation. Definitely need one more. I think we got to go for that owl. It's the only guaranteed uh, grassland bird. There is a grain in the tray, so we like that. Five turns left, so still some time in this round. Put this guy down. Two cards. Get one off the top and then grab that owl. Got a rat in the tray. Cartographer has not been good to us so far. We currently have three ground nests, so that's unfortunate. Could have gone the enclosure builder route. Turkey Vulture. We don't have any predators, but that will get an extra egg. We were planning on grabbing that owl, and I think we still do it. Don't want him. He doesn't look like he's going to get us anything good. Oh, we do have a predator. We're going to have two predators now. Forester's turn might be nice. Star nest. Opponent agrees. Could do food. Don't have the eggs, unfortunately, for. I could do the barn owl now. Eggs. Flicker. A little weak, but when's the end of round goal? I think instead we go for food here. We'll take a cherry. I think at this point we can cash our grain. Famous last words, but time to start getting some points. We have so much food. There's lots of grubs there. Too bad we don't have the eggs to also play the flicker. We could just play the flicker for now. Oh, it's a cartographer, so that makes it better. Then we just play the flicker right now. Point with one turn left. 
little food. Got the eggs for one more. Uh, one more card if he wants it. We got plenty of food. We have so much food. We need some bombs now. We could grab up that uh, bitter end. It's an American card. So yeah, should have done it now. Oh, opponent's going to get another card down in the grasslands. Very strong play. We'll take up that American Bitterin. There's no grain in the tray, unfortunately. Woodpecker is out of luck. All right, we get to go first this round. Open for one more cartographer bird. Asteroid Flycatcher, how's our cavity nest space? Plenty. Um, still no cartographer birds. Uh, let's see here. That's my opponent been up to. Not too much. Nothing that's really going to help them with card draw for that. Uh... Oh, that's nice. Glad we denied that guy. Uh, skip. Mm, yeah. Okay, my opponent's ground nest is only one. We've got one, two, three, so that is very good. I think we play our Martin. We have so much food. And cycle that tip mouse, probably cycle out that barred owl as well, or we could play it. Definitely cycle out the red shoulder hawk. No eggs, so we gotta lay some eggs. That guy would be nice. My opponent might... Oh, let's undo that. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to have to spend the egg here. Do we give out food? We really don't... Well, we need it for the flycatcher eventually, but I think for now we do not. One, two, three, four... We need five eventually. We have two. We have lots of extra food. I think we are going to get down our owl as well. Just for the... And plus it'll help with the flycatcher. But we want to get this Martin down ASAP for the hunt for one more cartographer bird. Still with only one down. We got zero. We might want to grab that. Deny the... Uh, Clark's Grebe. Almost six cards down. We have seven. We have tons of food. I think we play this owl. Then just build up towards this flycatcher. Eventually get the bitter end down. We got the food for it for sure. Look at all that grain. Uh oh. I'm okay with that. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's not a ground nest, so it's okay. Oh, there it goes. About to lose it, but still not going to get them three. One, two. It's going to be a bit of a weak play this this point in the game, but it is an easy one to get down with its one food cost. So it will help with the final end of round goal, but we got lots of good stuff here for our final end of round. We really, come on, cartographer bird. Nope, puff tit mouse might be nice though. I think we do snag that guy up. Pass out a grub, I mean a egg to my opponent. Skip. Mm, let's get rid of this tit mouse for this other tit mouse. I can still skip this guy for now, I think. We do need to worry about getting this bittern down. We don't have the rat or the fish for it. You might need to take a trip to the forest. My opponent's got the 
Raven, so there's no rush on that one. So we'll hold off on that. See if we do get a second um, cartographer bird. If not, might not really be worth it. Let's just keep on doing what we're doing here. So we got our three. Let's see. Do we get our food now? Be a fairly weak play. I don't know. Total birds. I think we could, I think we definitely want to get that bitter and down. Well, we kind of definitely want to. Eh. I'm going to bite the bullet. I don't like it. But I'm going to do it. We're going to hope for at least one grain so we get at least a point out of this. No rat, unfortunately. We will take another fish, I suppose. We'll cash. Get one point out of it. Now we got plenty of food for all of our needs. We're not going to be passing out with our Phoebe quite so much. Was it worth it? Only time will tell. So we want to try to get our double play in. So we want to get one more good force bird. I don't think the hawk is quite what we're after. That is going to have to be our cycling card. How's my opponent doing on total birds? We have eight. My opponent has seven. Ah, uh, there we go. Bell's Vario. Unfortunately, my opponent will... If he has any brains in his head, he will gobble that up, but fingers crossed, it sticks around. Can't possibly imagine it, which means another trip to the fort, or to the grasslands at least. Yep. That would have been so nice for us, especially with this fly, with this ash-throated flycatcher. Whew, that would have been a big play. Unfortunate. That guy we don't care about. All right, well, my opponent is doing very well. We still have no cartographer birds. We will skip here, although my opponent is starting to get a lot of food. Uh, we gotta cycle out this guy. Come on, Western Tanager. Oh, my prayers have been answered, but are we going to be able to have the food for everything we want to play? We might have to skip the tip mouse. So let's see here. This is going to cost us two grubs and a cherry. This guy will cost us two grubs and two grain. Um, I think we do one more round. And then just see what if we have enough food. I don't want to do the math right now. I think we might. We're giving our opponents so many resources whenever we hit our... Oh, you, uh, we can't... Oh, well. Can we undo by chance? Yeah. We go all the way back. We got nothing to cycle. Okay, well, nope. It's too late. Maybe we, do skip, we just cycle this tip mouse. Then we should definitely have the food. Uh, yeah, we lose a couple points, but we're getting a point here. But the end of round goal. Well, let's let's just see. Okay, so we got three turns left. We only have uh, one cherry, so that's going to cost us two grain. We need two. Three, four, five grubs just on their own. Don't know if we have enough food. This is what happens when you cash. When you cash early, all of a sudden, one, two, three, we already need five here. We're not gonna have enough food. It is awful. I think it's just gotta be, I have to skip that flycatcher. I don't know. It's gonna be a tough call. 
should not have cashed. Never cash. Never cash until round four should be the lesson for this game. So if we do the fly catcher, that is a, I don't know, we want to get lots of birds down. We're tied currently. Can we get at least three without the tip mouse? I think that the Western tanager and the bittern are highest priority. All right. I don't think we can get, if we do a double play here, let's see what food that leaves us with. All I see, uh, this is why I'm not 600 ELO, because I look at this math about food and I, my brain just can't handle it. So we'll do it the easy way. We'll play them and see what food we have left over. I feel like it's worth it to get this for the end of round goal. No, we don't want to be spending that one. Spend a grain. Get this guy down. That leaves us with only food for either the flycatcher or the bittern, right? Three here. So it cost us two and two. We'd be stuck with one grub. Yeah, so we can't do both. So we have to do the bittern. Because this would be a uh, seven minus one is six plus three is nine. This guy would be a uh, two plus one, two, three, four, five, six. That's eight. Oh, nine. Nine either way. We like completing our bonus card, but this would allow us for an extra point on the... Uh, getting an egg. So let's double check this. This is going to be four minus two is two plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Yep. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna fail our, um, how's our time doing? We're going to fail our bonus card. So does that mean that this is not worth it? This is a, uh, one, plus, oh, but it does help with the end of round goal. I think it's worth it just to buffer us there. So we'll do that. And then the, then the fly catcher. It's very sad that we could not get that bidder and should not have been caching. But maybe it's, maybe it kind of works out either way. You get two extra points here. Hard to say. Down goes that Grebe. We do have the stronger plays at the end here, I must say. Opponent ties it up. One cube left, no food, so. We will get the final end of round. Opponent with two bonus cards, however. We don't have any covered up, right? Yeah. So we'll just ask, it's gonna come down to the bonus cards as per usual, and ours is not strong. Point with quite a few cards down. We will get to activate, <laughs> ooh, we get to activate our, our owl uh, with four food. You can do it, buddy. Nope, it's not gonna, yeah, there we go. We do win the end of final end of round. Absolutely lovely. And we get to cycle our bitter in, so that's good. We did unnecessarily skip a tuck, which is unfortunate because we were too lazy to do the math. So we lose by a point. It's just our lot in life. Nothing we can do about it. Pass one out for posterity. Call it good. See what happens here. Up by five with three, two, eight out of two bonus cards. Very easy for my opponent to get eight out of two bonus cards. So I'll be very upset. 
if we lose this one. It's quite possible, however. 82. Not a strong game. Should not have cashed those too great. Well, alrighty. Four or more. Oh, there it is. What a shame. Well, that's the Raven for you. GG to my opponent. That should lose us all the ELO that we just gained. About 12 last time. All right, well, we just lost one more ELO as well. I think we got time for one more. So we are going to do it. Uh, let's see here. All right, well, we have stalled out. We got, should we turn off those, those power birds? No, no, we're not gonna let that game dictate how we play. We're going to keep him in there. All right. Let's go, April. Let's see what you got. You got this guy. Otherwise, we don't have too much. We got to go common Morgancer, I believe. I think we're going to grab up that uh, Vulture. Just to get two um, birds into the... We might do a single card draw because the end of round goal uh, is asking for it. We'll do that. But do we really want to do it? We got rat eating birds and we got people poo poo prairie manager, but rat eating birds is also tempting, which tempts me by that. Falcon instead of the Mergancer. But that's an extra turn. Turns are worth a lot of points in the end, so. I think we go Prairie Manager. I like Prairie Manager. We're going to slow walk that Vulture. Not quite worth it just to grab it on its own. I suspect my opponent's going to grab it. Yeah, it's too tempting. For those newbie players, of course, I also wanted to grab it, so... Oh, look at that. That guy... We could slow walk that one, too. Do we dare? Do we force a double card draw, single card draw, out of my opponent? It's a star nest. I'm going to roll the dice. I am going to majorly roll the dice here. I just feel like when you're playing a certain caliber of opponent. Let's see what my opponent's games are like. Uh, let's see here. Uh-oh. She's got some pretty good scores. Yep, okay. What is up with all these newbies with their high scores? That might be nice, but the food is not really available for it. That is not so nice. Yeah, she had scores in the high 80s and low 90s, so... We have clearly... I don't know, board game arena. It's not a joke anymore, friends. That's not anything we can do. Let's just get all, let's just get all wetland birds, shall we? Well, that'll be good for our bonus card if we can actually get something going beyond what we have currently. We're going to have to lay a couple more eggs and draw more cards. Tree Swift would be nice. But the... Well, that I feel okay about. I'm just going to keep doing this. I mean, the tree swallow. Get that into our forest, but... Play this guy. Take, like, four turns to get him down. <sighs> Don't know about that. I 
I feel like it's a trap. Bald eagle. Come on, game. Let's be nice. Oh, that's a little nicer. Skip him. Still as bad as the tree swallow for uh, how long it's going to take us, but take us two more turns. We got an egg. That's nice. We got an egg in our Merganser, so when we finally do get it down, we will be good. That guy would be nice to get, but we need to keep on going. We got we got plenty of stuff for our wetlands here, that is for sure. I think we chuck the eagle, chuck the cormorant, get down that pileated. Uh, yeah. Suddenly, my opponent has a very strong force, but very little card draw. We're going to do this to prevent a reroll for my opponent to be happening too easily. Not feeling particularly optimistic about this one, but we'll just see. I don't just spam in eggs. So we're, at least we're going to tie the end of round. Our uh, Piliated will be good and that they will be filling up their... Uh, filling up their eggs. Well, we like all of those grassland-only birds, but we're going to have to hold off. we got to get down our woodpecker, get some food, then we can draw. We'll have two eggs at that point. Although we might want to get down our tree swallow if at all possible. That's nice. Single food card or single food draw. That is we're gonna hope for a cherry and a grub. No, oh well, partially there. We will take a fish, chuck this guy. We got the food for our stork, but uh, we got to get this pileated down for the sake of flow. This is rough because not getting, having to overpay, not getting those cherries. My opponent might be snagging up that uh, swallow. Should be quite the shame. We definitely would like that guy. Yep. Sparrow, whatever it is. Alright, we're gonna hope for a cherry on the reroll so we can get down our tree swallow. not it might be the wood stork oh my gosh we cannot let my opponent have that this is awful Ugh. yeah that's really rough it's my opponent yeah well this is just going really bad Very, very rough game. Point quickly grabbing up a bird that gives them plenty of cavity nests and two extra cards for cycling, so. Should have made my speed run to 200. <laughs> That's a nice card for us, for our engine, but don't know if forced engine is going to be what we are going for here. Hey, we got our cherry at least. We we are going to be challenging this end of round. I 
went with a very weak food at least. That is worth noting. Don't know if there's anything here we actually want right now. Always get food and play our wood stork, but that feels completely wrong. That's a very good play. Hmm. Opponent switching it up to the forest or just working on a denial there. Well, let's get the food for our finch. If anything, we can put it in the wetlands. Might not be bad down there. Might be better in the forest though. We'll have to draw cards, I think, this last turn. We're going to grab up the uh, Horned Lark just for the lower bounds of our bonus card if it comes to that. Double play the Blackbird into the Horned Lark would not be terrible. The Boba Link, we really don't have the ground nest for it. Might still be worth grabbing. Planning ahead a little bit, get a couple eggs out of it. Help with our Prairie Manager. How are we doing on this? Yep. We got two. My opponent with a little bit of food. I don't think we worry about the end of round goal. Raven. You don't feel correct right now. You don't feel correct at all. I think we're not going to go Raven at this point. Our, our forest is already getting us two eggs, two food, and a point. So... I think we're just going to do this for now. Skip as per usual. Oh, look at all those cards. Those cards would have been great for us. This game its just not behaving itself. Let's get down our Finch. I think we're going to have to cycle out that Boba Link. Try to get down our uh, wood stork. The owl would be nice, but the food is also not there for it. So you got to be careful in this game. We need a we we need grubs. We need a rat though. We need a cherry. We need grain. Maybe we undo that. We'll do one grain, one grub. Bobo Link's got to go. Puffin's nice. We'll take a puffin. We are winning this game so far, so that's nice. Oh, but my fish goes away. No rats to be seen. There are cherries, so we might just do our double play here. What are we going to cycle out? Maybe we cycle out the wood stork at this point. Although we are closer to the food for that. So... We'll do this. Um, yeah, Puffin's got to go. Food is not available. 
Still have space for this, no problem. We gotta draw some cards, I think. Could put down the wood stork now, overpay a little bit. Opponent building up to a very strong. We don't have any ground there, so we do actually have to overpay for this guy. Puffin would have been better because then we could have laid eggs with our. Uh, with that guy on it. This is rough. Three turns left. So we will do eh, let's get rid of our let's get rid of our grub. Well we got we got the food in the tray. We can actually we can actually go for food one more time. And hope for the proper food. We did get a rat, so that's good. This guy can go. Got one more round doing this. Oh no, we got this Merganser down here. Wood Stork and a very weak Egg Lay. Mallor's just going to have to be our cycle card. Don't think we want to head for the um, wetland one more time. But then again, our eggs are getting filled up. We do have this play. So who knows? We're just going to have way too much food if we just keep hitting our forest. We have barely any cards down. We will spend ourselves a grain. And we'll have the perfect food for our double play. Mm. We've got two of those guys. Oh, and plus this guy's going to be a third. So that's a very good bonus card for us. Glad we picked up that horned lark. I feel like we do have to go for cards. Uh, give us some tucking fodder for the lark. Although my opponent has only got one more space left in the grassland, so... I don't know. My opponent's going to run the engine and really run away with this thing. Opponent going for food, interestingly. That's my opponent. Plenty of... Uh, this would be a five point play, I believe. We get we only get two points. This would be a four point play. Is it even worth it? We got plenty of eggs. I feel like we need every turn we get, so we are just going to completely neglect this end of round. Mm, nothing there that's too exciting. That's kind of nice. We can cycle out this guy. Not looking good. We are well ahead, but opponent's going to have a very strong uh, final round. Going for the Great Horned. Food is really not there for it, but it must be bonus card related. I 
They have three platform nests, so that may potentially be it. Alright, one more play here. Well, Chihuahuan Raven, let's help with our bonus card. So we will grab him up just in case. Don't think we are going to actually play it unless we get one more. Um, so let's see, we're going to do our double play. We could have two turns. Well, we would have liked that guy. Came too late, so our Horned Lark is not going to get us anything, but the bonus card play is quite strong. So we'll do that. And then we'll grab up our food. We've got plenty of cards to chuck for food. I'm not going to get the final end of round goal. Nine points in bonus cards is perfectly respectable, but man, if we get one more, that would be so nice. If we can even afford it. That is quite the engine. Do this and this. Get rid of him. Hope for a rat at least. We get it. But we're not going to grab that raven quite yet because it's only good for us if uh, we get ourselves. No, we don't get the bird we want. So I think we play this guy. We don't have any star nests, so we have to lay eggs. Uh, final round. Also depressing. Five point play here. This guy would be a uh, seven point play. I think it's better to just grab food one more time. Play the night heron and lay a few eggs. Very sad state of affairs. And toss this guy. Get our fish we need, so we have plenty of food left over. So I glad our friend here. Oh. One turn too late, my friend. One turn too late. I guess we could have grabbed the raven. Would not get uh, an egg and a bowl nest if we did that, though. So I'm not too sad that we didn't grab the raven just in case. Let's just play our heron and lay some eggs and accept our defeat. So this is seven, this is five. We'll just put this guy down. Look at that. Look at that. April, you're killing me here. I thought we were friends. It's over. They only have one bonus card. But I can't see them failing horribly. I mean, how many points are they going to get? They're going to get four, five, six, seven, eight, possibly nine points right now. We are going to be getting three. That puts them well ahead of us. This is what I get for underestimating, I suppose. Should have just grabbed up that tucker. Those tuckers are so strong early on. Card cycle. 
No. All right. So now we know single card draws are okay sometimes. What? We tied that end of round goal. I'm not sure that's even possible. They just didn't have any bull nests. I wish I had realized that a lot sooner. I could have maybe done something with that. It's not going to be enough, I suspect, unless this bonus card is garbage. But I find that hard to believe. Oh my gosh! I'm not sure. I wasn't even paying attention to what the score could be. That final turn. Here comes all those tucks. Wow. Well, I am shocked, quite honestly. <laughs> shocked, but relieved. Plus 20. Okay. Ending that one on a strong suit. I got to get going, everybody. I appreciate uh, the views, and uh, we'll catch you next time on that surprise, uh, surprise victory. See you later.